Welcome to Beyond the Noise. Here's Olivet Nazarene University's chaplain, Mark Holcomb. I recently returned to Akron, Ohio. I went for a funeral, actually. I was born in Akron, and I went to visit as I was growing up. I've had relatives live there really all my life, but I haven't been back since 1991. 1991, that's a long time ago. So I had some work to do, and I was sitting in a McDonald's, which McDonald's look very familiar, right? So I was sitting in something that's familiar to me in a city that I once knew. But I felt like I was visiting Akron for the first time. I mean, for Pete's sakes, 1991 is a long time ago. It should have been an old, familiar place. Places like Sieber Street are still there, the street that my grandparents lived on. Ellet High School, the high school that my uncle and my dad and my cousin attended, and Derby Downs, the Akron Beacon Journal, Strickland's Custard, Akron General Hospital, the hospital, my birthplace, and the Firestone Country Club are all there. Highways 77 and 71 still run through Akron. These are all very familiar markers to me, yet this familiar place had so much new. If you're familiar with Akron, there used to be a thing called the Rubber Bowl, where the Akron Zips used to play. It's gone. Ellet High School is in a brand new building, one my dad wouldn't recognize. My grandparents' home now belongs to someone with a name other than Holcomb. Places that were old and run down and are now experiencing this regentrification like many other cities in our country. The roads haven't changed. I mean, I can still drive on Triplet Boulevard and exchange. Thankfully, the pavement's changed, but much of the landscape has as well. In this old place, there was a lot of new. I wonder for us this week if we can get so caught up in the daily routine and the familiarity with the things that are around us in this old place that we live in, that we miss the new, that we miss the new things that may be happening around us. Remember the story of Samuel? He found himself in the temple, an old familiar place, hearing an unfamiliar voice. As a matter of fact, scripture says that he didn't know God yet and didn't recognize his voice. The Bible narrative admits that hearing from God during this time wasn't just rare for Samuel, but for everyone, and that's evidenced by the fact that Eli the priest didn't recognize at first what was happening either. But in the old familiar place, the temple, God told Samuel he was about to do a new thing, so new that it would make Samuel's ears tingle. Well, that's God talk for if you're listening, if you're watching, you won't miss it. A new thing. I believe that still happens. I believe new things happen in old places. I believe new things happen in places sometimes we don't expect. That if we're listening, God speaks in new ways. Regardless of whether in, we're involved in traditions or in places that seem old and familiar, routine, God is present with us. So I wonder this week as you drive through town, just like I did, Driving through the daylight in Akron, Ohio on streets whose names were familiar to me, but the sights had changed. An old familiar place, new, coming alive to me in new ways. If our eyes and our ears could be attentive to maybe the new ways that God wants to speak to us this week. Because I think the request that Samuel made, the prayer that Samuel made, that we often pray as well, speak, Lord, your servant is listening, is still a prayer that we can pray that God wants to answer for us. So just as I drove through Akron looking for new things in an old familiar place, I hope today that you do the same. This has been Beyond the Noise with Chaplain Mark Holcomb. Watch Olivet Chapel services live or on demand at olivet.edu. Beyond the Noise is a production of Shine.fm.